waves, they haven't got anything to do with physics. You get waves at the seaside. That's geography. Well, I know what you mean. But waves are actually things that transfer energy from one place to another. And energy has a lot to do with physics. Waves carry energy from one place to another. But look, I can move this battery from one place to another. And I'm not a wave. OK, I'll try again. The definition of a wave is as follows. A wave transfers energy from one place to another with no net transfer of matter. You what? In other words, whatever substance the wave passes through, it goes back to the way it was before the wave passed through it. Now I'm really confused. I mean, there's all sorts of waves. Microwaves, ocean waves, light waves. Surely, they can all be the same. Well, actually, they are. They all carry energy and the material remains unchanged once the wave has passed through it. Look, if I was to make a wave in this piece of string, once the wave has passed through it, the string goes back flat again. Now this wave, where the matter moves up and down, but the energy moves at right angles to it, is called a transverse wave. A transverse wave? I'll never remember that. Look at the screen. This is how I remember it. Ah, so in a transverse wave, the energy movement is at right angles to the wave movement. Got it. Right, but not all waves move up and down like this one. Look over here. Just like before, the energy moves backwards and forwards. But this time, the wave moves backwards and forwards as well. So, it looks like a wave of compression travelling along a spring. So what sort of wave is this? Well, the two arrows are going in the same direction and we can actually fit the letter L in the gap. L is the first letter of longitudinal. So it's a longitudinal wave. And in a longitudinal wave, the energy moves in the same direction as the wave. Yeah. And in a transverse wave, the energy moves at right angles to the wave. Now I understand the difference. So, are there any good examples of each type of wave? Sound. Sound is a longitudinal wave and it travels through the air as a wave of compression. Like in a slinky spring. Exactly. Whereas light travels as a transverse wave. Like flicking a piece of string. Yes. Now all waves, whether they're transverse or longitudinal, have three main properties. They can reflect, refract and diffract. But let's start with the first one, reflection. Reflection? Easy. See, when light hits a smooth surface, like a mirror, it gets reflected. And it's reflected at the same angle. Same angle? What do you mean? OK, look at this diagram. This here is the mirror, and the dotted line at right angles to it is called the normal. Here is the incoming ray. It hits the mirror and is reflected. And the angle between the incoming ray and the normal is called the angle of incidence? Yes. And the angle between the reflected ray and the normal is called the angle of reflection. Now, this bit's important. The angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. Which means that light is reflected at the same angle. That's right. You've got it. So now for refraction. Refraction. Isn't that when light bends because it's changing direction? That's right. Light bends when it moves from a material of a certain density to one with a different density. And isn't there a diagram with a fish tank that explains refraction? Yes, over here. One fish tank. In goes the fish. Look, you can see its torch shining. <laughs> OK. If we were to fill this tank one third full of water, the fish would disappear. Where's the fish gone? Take a look at this diagram of what just happened. As the light hits the surface of the water, the right hand side of the ray speeds up faster than the left hand side of the ray. Just like if you were to suddenly make the right hand wheels of a car go faster than the left hand wheels of a car. Ah, uh, so the car would turn to the left? Exactly. And that's what happens to this light ray the light bends off to the left so that we can't see it anymore. It refracts. So we've done reflection and refraction. 
What was the last one? Diffraction. This is the spreading out of waves when they pass an obstacle or they pass through a gap. The narrower the gap, the more they spread out. The waves look like they're bending round corners, so that's diffraction. Yes. When waves pass through gaps, they slow down at the edges, so they appear to form circular waves. Hmm. Now I know more about waves, I can see how they can be very useful. Hmm. I wonder if they could help me with my surfing. <laughs>